Deontay the Bronze from Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow of Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, Floyd Mayweather talks about Canelo Bevo and also talks about Canelo's biggest threat. One of the biggest challenges for Canelo will be Benavides. Mm. Benavides is like Canelo. He, I mean, he both is, 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 he's different because he throws a lot of combinations. Mm -hmm. He's young. He throws a lot of combinations. And they said Canelo... It's no different. When I was young, somebody had to give a Canelo, then somebody had to give Canelo a shot at the top guy because I was the top guy. So if Canelo is he's a top guy. Then a Diaz, Charlo, or one of those guys deserve a chance. Give one at least one of them a chance. All right, you heard Floyd Mayweather saying he should, you know, Benavidez is the biggest threat to Canelo, uh, biggest challenge to Canelo. He said he should give Canelo or Charlo a chance. But they also before that he they talked he talked about uh what he thought about Canelo and Bebo. And he said Canelo did what made him happy, and you know, pretty much it wasn't no hard feelings, right? He said it wasn't no hard feelings for Canelo going to fight Bebo. Um says that he did what made him happy. He said that, you know, he went to talk about the Margarito situation. Now like he didn't remember Margarito name. When people say he was fighting Margarito, it's a whole video out there, him him running from Antonio Margarito around like some type of, you know, in the casino or they was doing some type of press interview and he was looking over his shoulder at the all scared on uh, Margarito. Right. And, you know, he basically said, people said, you know, I was ducking Margarito kind of like how they saying Canelo ducking like Ben Davidez, Charlo, whatever. He said that, thank God that I didn't fight Margarito because my career could have been over after he was stuffing shit in his gloves, you know? So, and it did alter Cotto's career, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? You know, when Brother Nas found them uh, things and the plasters in his, uh, found that plaster in his damn uh, glove, and his wraps, you know what I'm saying? You know, Kodo had to feel a certain type of way because he took something from, from Kodo. You know? He took something from Kodo. So, I mean, he took something from Kodo, which Kodo couldn't get back. Because the way Kodo was bleeding, we had never seen, you know, Kodo, you know, bleeding that, in, that, in that manner before. So, yeah, he took something that Cotto couldn't get back, you know, in his career. But he said, you know, he, you know, he agreed with Canelo. You know, Canelo was doing what makes Canelo happy. You know, and you know, he can't really, he can't really fought that. But he would like to see him take on, you know, uh, Benavidez to fight one of them, Charlo. And you know, at the end of the day, it's a big push for him to fight Canelo to fight Benavidez. From Antonio Margarito, from Floyd Mayweather, somebody else said the very same thing that he should he should fight, you know, Benavidez, and that's a good fight. And PBC put fifty five million behind Benavidez, you know, for him to fight Canelo. They offered Canelo fifty five million, and Canelo didn't take the fight. Canelo didn't take the fight. So I mean, you know. And, you know, should he fight Canelo or Benavidez? Canelo fight Benavidez? So be it. I mean, we felt that you should have fought more black fighters who gave them opportunity to break bread like you did with a number of Hispanic fighters. You know what I'm saying? Had Broner beat Marcus McDonough, you wouldn't have gave uh, him an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You just wouldn't have gave him an opportunity. So, you know, like I, like I said before. You know, you're asking this dude to do something that you didn't do as a fighter, bro. That's what you asking. You asked him to do something that you didn't do as a fighter. You know, we should just fight one of them. We asked for years for you to fight fucking Pacquiao. You know, people want to see you fight Timothy Bradley, Keith Thurman, Eris Lonnie, Lara. But when, you know, Austin Trout beat Miguel Cotto, you didn't fight him. And when he fought Canelo, you said if you would have won, you still wouldn't fight him. So Canelo not obligated to fight David Benavidez. He not. No matter what Floyd Mayweather say. You know, people keep saying what he want to do, what he want to do, what he should do, this, that, and third, bro. You don't do a lot of shit people wanted you to do. It's been, especially when you got the, the power. 
you know, when you became the cash cow, you became number one. It's a lot of brothers that didn't get an opportunity. You know, there was a lot of brothers who didn't get an opportunity under you. So, you know, first you want to cuss the man out, say he ain't this, he ain't that. When I beat him, it was easy. And now you want him to come over here and fight so you don't have to get back in the ring and keep fighting. She can help him do whatever he want to do. If he want to drive Ben Vita, that's to the zone. That's what I do. Anybody that want to fight me, I ain't doing it on PBC no more. Come to the zone. Yep, that shit all that shit up. That shit all that shit up. You know, that shit all that shit up. Crazy. All that up. So, I mean, I said before, love to see Benavides and Canelo, but that, that hypocrisy coming from him, oh, you should fight one. Like, bro, we asked you to fight a number of challenges. You just kept fighting two small guys, a, a Hispanic, a white guy, like Ricky Haddon, Juan Mom, Marquette. We asked you to fight Pacquiao expeditiously. And then we ended up getting Pacquiao after he got knocked out again. And then you jumped in the ring with him. It took so much to fight Pacquiao. Anybody before Pacquiao, that nigga wasn't talking about Olympic-style drug testing. He just want Canelo to come over there and um, help make PBC money because they're in trouble. Simple as that. You know, they offered $55 million for this dude to fight uh, David Benavidez. You know, $50 million to fight Charlo. So he said you should at least fight Charlo or something like that. That's fine. You know, but hey, I had your opportunity. Y'all let him come over here get the final belt and then get and couldn't and, and couldn't get him to sign a multi-fight contract. That's y'all fight. Fought. He ran over to the zone and seemed like he gonna fight three fights in the, uh, for the zone. You know, from May 7th with B with September, whatever, 17th with Triple G if he beat Marana. In December, he posed he fight somebody, Mar uh, Macabu. Ryder, better be if Joe Smith Jr. It's been a lot of names that's been thrown out. You know, Floyd Cosine and David Benavidez. That's that's cool. Oh yeah, she played you know Charlo over shit, man. Where you co-signing? You had a lot of co-signing about Crawford being pound for pound number one. Where you like really pushing for Crawford to fight Spence? You know what I'm saying? Were you pushing for you know Tank to fight Devin Haney? You know, well, you know, we're that same push for Jamal Charlo at for years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you pushing for Benavidez and kind of pushing for Charlo and all of that. But, damn, man, the brothers could have been using your push. You could have been breaking bread with the brothers. And the only reason he fought Shane Mosey because, you know, Shane Mosey was a name. You know, he was my biggest win, but he'd been wanting to fight Shane. Ever since 135 pounds, but Shane moved up and fought Oscar De La Hoya, the same dude he was chasing. Can't get mad at it. Can't call that a duck. But he had countless opportunities to fight to fight the brothers. Man, he fought Zab coming off a loss. Now, I mean, Devin Alexander, Timothy Bradley, Keith Thurman, Paul Williams, Eric Sonny Laura was his mandatory. Thurman was his mandatory. He had opportunities to fight them dudes. At least some of them. But the brothers that you fight is Birdo and um, uh, Birdo and Shane. Shane, understandably. Floyd, Floyd, they wasn't trying to help out in the co-sign. No, brothers. Floyd wasn't trying to co-sign none of the brothers, bro, or give them an opportunity. And that's a fact. Of him come out and hard and, and do a hard uh co-sign for Benavidez, man. You ain't co -sign. you ain't you ain't break bread with brothers when you when you fought. One thing about giving Broner a bone. Or nothing like that. You weren't co-signing brothers when you fought. And that's a fact. And that's a fact. Yeah, that's my thing, bro. Mm -hmm. That's an actual fact. But for him to go out there... And get and them, you know, offer the most money for Ben to be there more than Charlo, whatever. And who know what their analytics say? Y'all got people who, who predict analytics, you know, that just lets you know what they're about, bro. You know, and, you know, black nigga, my black company pushing for Spanish, the same, you know, Floyd Mayweather was crying about, you know, how Bob Aram only promoted Hispanics more and gave Hispanics to fight this, that, and the third, right? And then you turned around. 
you know, and you turned around and did the same thing. You start promoting and fighting, build your career off of Spanish hypocrisy. Then think about giving nobody that was close to being a brother a real shot, especially when they was young and prime. So, like I said before, I ain't tripping, but let me know what you girls or guys think. Hit the box on this playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live, drop a video, or to make a financial donation, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal in the description. Uh, best with a donate, comment, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase chance notification. We go live, drop a video. Find me, hit the link tree link in the description. Find me everywhere from Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Appreciate the love.